Okay, we're going to get back to Trash and Clutter, but before I start, let me armor up by saying um, I am sending the in a positive intention of love, peace, and light and blessing through this discussion. We're armored up. We don't want no negative nothing, nothing here. Hmm. So, we are going to talk about balance, okay? Because it is important for the soul to be balanced in order to make this life journey. And trash and clutter will leave you unbalanced, okay? So, <clears throat> the soul seeks balance, all right? When you were brought here as a spirit into this physical body, you were brought here with talents and gifts, something that I talked about <laughs> in the video of how to figure out your divine contract. But also, you were brought here with certain debt, okay? So if you know the concept of karma, then you understand that your soul has lived many lifetimes before. And in those lifetimes, you made great strides, perhaps, and you possibly did some things that you just effed up, all right? You just missed the mark, all right? So your soul is brought back here with the accumulation of this knowledge, talents, and gifts, things that just are natural to you, as well as karmic debt and karmic lessons. And that's um, that starts to go into the divination of numerology, which is something I'm very interested in. So karmic debt and lessons are basically um, energies that you didn't get right in the past lifetime that you will experience in this lifetime as just hiccups, as bumps in the road, as struggles, as just problems that seem to occur over and over and over again. Now, the universe wants you to address this karmic debt in this lifetime because the soul wants to be balanced. So you will find that these problems reoccur over and over again until you figure it out. Okay, they don't want you just to figure it out, they want you to master it. All right, so it's the idea of you took a test, you partied the night before, you was out hanging with the homies, you didn't study, you got a D. But the teacher's like, you know what, I know you know this material, I'm gonna give you a second chance and give you a retest. So this time you have an idea of what's on the test. But you still was lollygagging around thinking you can wing it and you got to see. This teacher is like, you need to get an A in order to pass this class and make it to the next level. So I'm going to give you some extra credit. You do that extra credit. You put some heart into it. It's more tailored to what you got wrong on the first two attempts. And then boom, you get your A. You, you're elevated to the next grade level. It's the same idea with karmic debt and karmic lessons. So... Um, there are divination systems that exist, many, to help you figure out what specific karmic debts and lessons you might have carried with you in this lifetime. Now, they can be in the form of, you know, learning how to be more independent. They can be learning how to cooperate with others, to build relationships, to um, become stable, and to... Uh, attend to family issues or love matters or money matters or universal matters as a whole. They exist on many, many, many levels. Now, um, if you're not into Hocus Pocus, uh, I probably should tell you to stay away from me <laughs> because I'm so Hocus Pocus. But um, like I said, I'm trying to keep things on the surface. So if you're not, sh if you're not into divination, because some people think it's like witchcraft and it's the devil and it's evil and I don't even like to say the devil's name because that gives him energy and I'm not about that life but there are some people out there that just feel like this kind of thing is just not right okay whatever there are other ways that you can figure it out it's going to take a little bit more work because it's going to require you to step outside of yourself and look from the outside in which can be very difficult because you have something called an ego okay and the ego can definitely get in the way when you need to do some self-critical analysis, okay? But if you're committed to figuring out 
what these problems are and in turn how to fix them, then you have to really step outside yourself and take a look at yourself. Now, um, one of the ways that I do this before I even started getting into uh, divination systems was just by simply journaling. Okay, so when you journal your day-to-day -day activities, you journal the things that you've experienced, um, situations that you encountered, you start to see the response that you had to certain things. Um, you start to see the patterns of accomplishments, of struggles, of difficulties, of relationships that exist within your life. If you keep a journal, that's a self-record of your life, okay? Nobody wrote that. Nobody told you what to write, okay? That was you talking to you. Um, and who better to tell you about yourself than you? And journaling is an easy way to do that, all right? Because I've been journaling since before I can write. I mean, I have my first journal where it's just pretty much pictures. Um, but I'm able to see throughout all the years the growth that I've made, the mistakes that I've made, the decisions that I made that worked and didn't work. And I'm able to kind of put these pieces together for things that I experience now and will experience in the future based on my past experiences. So continued struggles that I see in my journals, now that I'm awakened to it and I'm aware of it and I want to make a change in it, I can use my own personal record to help me, uh, to assist me, assist me with this, with these issues that I have. So journaling is one way. If, you, if you're not into journaling, then just try to see the same patterns of issues that have come up, okay? So, um, you might be a person that's constantly struggling with relationships, you know? You just seem to always attract the wrong guys. They always seem to, seem to end the wrong way. You start to think, well, maybe it's something with me. Uh, or you might be like, well, this guy, ain't, he don't know me like that, and he wasn't good for me. I, if you just think that relationships are something that you just struggle with, then you really have to sit down and do some self-analysis and figure out, hmm, what is the pattern of relationships that I'm attracting? And what is the pattern of response and reaction that I'm giving to this relationship? And what can I do differently? Okay, so mastering your karmic debt and your lessons is not something that can happen in the next experience. Okay, it's not like you can have one failed relationship and be like, oh, well, I see that I just wasn't open enough. Let me try to be open in the next relationship and boom, this one's going to work. It's, it just, just doesn't work that way. Because even when you took that first test, you had to take a second and then some extra credit in order to elevate to that A. So if you're committed to fixing the problem, it's going to take work. Okay, but each time you address it with a new outlook and a new approach, it becomes easier and you start to see the things that you need personally to overcome this debt, to overcome this lesson. Okay, now um, in numerology, some people are born with no karmic debt and no karmic lessons at all. That will come in the form the number zero. That can be something that's very tricky because your soul pretty much got it and figured it out and now you're brought back here to, to finish meeting what your, what your contract is, whatever your contract is, okay? But you have no karmic debt and no karmic lessons. So then that kind of opens up, that's like all or nothing. So either you can take all the experiences that your soul had in previous life forms and use that to your advantage or you can vibrate to the lower number to, to the lower aspect of zero and you can accumulate all these problems all at once okay so it's easier when you have a divination system because listen man I don't know about you but I firmly believe since we are spirits having a human experience there are ways that we can tap into the divine knowledge okay I just don't think that we were placed here as humans to just go run buck wild okay they are here and when i say they i'm talking about the universe the cosmos the universal force the spirit energies and guides 
the angels, our spirit ancestors, all these energies that are there, whether you want to believe it or not, sorry, boo-boo, they're there. I firmly believe that they are there to help us, okay? And they're there to help us in ways that we can receive it in this physical astral plane. There are ways to communicate and to tap into the spirit energy forces. Yes, they are. And I am here to tell you it's true. <laughs> but if that's just not where you are in your life, that's fine. Because at one point in time, I wasn't there. And that's fine. This is a life journey. Okay? So if you're committed to figuring, figuring out what these problems are, you, you, you can do that. And you can start to work um, you can start to work out a plan that will help you address these issues because you want to be balanced. And when you are balanced, life is just easier. Things just flow. Trash and clutter is so much easier to deal with when you are balanced. 11 minutes, that's my time. <laughs>